Okay. What's up, Aron? Season What's five. Up? Thanks for having me. Season five, Master of Contestant. First of all, did you know who I was beforehand? Did you have any idea? I had no idea. Oh, okay. You don't watch politics? You're not, you're not a fan of uh, American politics at all? I try not to get too involved. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fine. That's not a, yeah. that's not a big deal. You know, we're, I'm, I'm a Master Chef streamer. I just watch Master Chef. So. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um, okay. So. So you were on Master of Season 5, okay, and we're going to watch, I guess, the last two episodes together, uh, and I have no idea what's going to happen. The rules are you are not allowed to spoil it, okay? No spoilers. Obviously, you probably know what happened. <laughs> I, I, I assume you paid attention to the rest of the season after you left. <laughs> so, before wait, hold up. Before we... <laughs> Uh, before we do that, though, uh, it, do you feel like you were robbed? Hell yeah, I feel like I was robbed. <laughs> like we just we were we were big advocates for All you right, here on pass. the stream. Um, the fact that Cutter made it to the top four, whereas Tyler. whereas you were you were cut short. Bullshit. Yeah. Wait, what did you go out on? Uh, ninth place. You went out on ninth ninth place. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Um. Okay. Why were you so angry? Well, I was so angry. Oh, I was like a raging bitch as 18 year old, but much calmer now. Yeah. Do people fuck <laughs> up your name a lot? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's not very common. It's my Korean name Americanized, but like, I feel like when it happened with Leslie, like, don't get me wrong, people butcher it all the time and I don't like get mad at them. But with Leslie, it was like quite the journey trying to get him to pronounce it right. And then I got to the point where I felt like he was doing it on purpose. So. Oh, you uh, thought he was doing it on purpose? Isn't he? <laughs> isn't he like a lib dad? I feel like he's he's like big like Malibu liberal. I, I thought. <laughs> I don't know what his political preference is, but. <laughs> okay. Um, I got some other. I I got some other takes here that like I I'll will wait, is like there's two more episodes on this season. Okay. So. Uh, I don't know. Wait, someone said he confirmed on Quinn's stream that he did it on purpose. Wait, really? Okay, maybe he was doing it on purpose. He said he was doing it on purpose. Maybe. He's kind of fucked up. He's like 57 years old at that point. <laughs> he was just dunking on an 18-year-old? I guess so. Okay. Um. Wait, what is your Korean name then? How do you say your Korean name? If that's uh, the Americanized version. Aran. Aran. Aran? Let's go. Yeah, Aran. Oh, cool. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so we don't know who's going to win or, or anything like that. Uh, let me see if I can just like screen share with you or let me see. I'm going to, I'm going to share my window with you and then. Okay. Boom. And you'll be able to hear it too, I hope. I, I think. With yep. the ultimate culinary you hear it, right? title in sight, the three best home cooks in America okay, take on the season's most intimidating challenge. Fifty chefs representing fifty states. Wow. They cook for the biggest culinary names in the country. The pressure is on. I loved it. I put that on my menu. But only two will make next week's finale. This isn't a cooking competition anymore. This is a chance at changing your future. Where the Master Chef champion is crowned. America's next Master Chef is. Welcome. Oh my god, I'm in the semifinals. This time last year I was cooking I'm turning in on my, my camera teeny little so electric I can turn it on stove my stream. kitchen in Philadelphia with my cat. And now this is my chance to shine. Courtney, Leslie, and Elizabeth, congratulations. Thank, thank you, thank Chef. You. you are the final three in the biggest culinary competition in the world. <sighs> this is the semifinal. So, as well as winning a quarter of a million dollars and your very own cookbook, one of you is only a few dishes away from winning this. The coveted MasterChef trophy. I did a wonderful job taking care of my wife and my children. My goal now is to do something for me. 
What's that? You're getting, oh, there's like audio in the background. You good? Yeah, yeah, all good, all good. Oh, okay. That trophy will change my life forever. For me, that trophy is my ticket to publish my own cookbook, which I've been dreaming of for years. Who'd you, who'd you like the least in the entire season, be honest? Wow, you're really asking all the burning questions right off the bat. Who'd you like, who'd you like the least, straight up? The least? I mean, I think I already made that clear in an episode prior. Oh, Leslie? Leslie, you like the least? No, 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 not Leslie, not Leslie. Oh, who was it then? I don't remember. Yeah, I would say Courtney. Probably. Oh, Courtney? Oh, okay, good. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so listen, 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 listen. I feel like she's very fake. I don't know what's going on. Like, they're in the top three now, like, I feel like she's very fake. I don't know what it is. I don't know. And I, I've never felt this way about like a master of contention before. But anyway, we'll we'll continue and I'll I'll point out uh, different things about it. Good. Sounds good. It was just it, it was very yeah. weird. For this challenge, we want you to cook a special dish for some very special guests. Each and every one of those guests is perfectly placed to judge your food. Because each of tonight's guests are all. How good are, how good are Graham's spits though? <laughs> They're I pretty mean, good. I mean, my man is just like, like he he just he just brings it every episode. I mean, every episode. Like, you know how in the final episode, they I'm gonna pause a lot. By the way, I'm just letting you know I pause all the time. But in the final episode, there's like, uh, you know, usually they wear their best fits, and Graham is wearing the exact same outfit that he usually wears like gordo will wear like a fucking tux joe yeah. will wear like a tuxedo or whatever and he's in some whack-ass shoes or whatever but but graham still dropping the exact same fit why because he keeps it 100 every time every they every also, episode like, make him wear it what? too they also like make him wear that no it's You're, not his choice no I, I in my head canon that's not how it is in my okay. in my head canon graham <laughs> dresses himself I don't want to. I don't want to believe that like someone else. Is, you're you're destroying the immersion. Oh, I'm sorry. No, he 50, 000, Fifty thousand people's dreams just died immediately. Just. Oh no, we're we're peeking too hard behind the curtain. Okay, let's just continue. And tonight's guests are all chefs. Hey, we have one amazing professional chef from each and every state in this country. 50 chefs. Tonight, you have to serve them in the MasterChef restaurant, a composed MasterChef-worthy entree. But prepping and cooking for 50 chefs, come on, it's impossible for you to do it alone. So tonight, we've brought you some help. I see Willie, Daniel, Aron, Victoria, Christian, and Jamie to boot. I was down in a pressure test with every one of them. You counted me out. The oh, old man's shit. still standing. It's wonderful being back. Okay, wait. Does it feel weird watching yourself? Yeah. Especially like <laughs> re rewatching it in front of 50,000 people? I don't think I ever watched I should get these episodes the after. Show. Wait, for like, real? Yeah, I think like I watched it until the Courtney episode, and then I was like too scared to watch myself again. Wait, who was your favorite, <laughs> and why was it Willie? <laughs> I love Willie. Love him. Um, he's just like the sweetest person ever. Smells really good. Um, That's all. Really that okay. You, you, that was the greatest thing you could have said. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I just wanted I to make it. Sure that he smells really nice. Yeah. Oscar, he looks like uh, he smells really time. nice. Um, okay. So who was your favorite though? Now that you, you know, kind of implied that it might not have been. No, I, I like Willie and I were really, really close. Um, I was really close with Christine though. She was probably the person I was closest to on the Christine? show. Christine? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Wait, uh, she's the one from Yonkers, right? Yep. Hmm. Okay. Getting the call to come back is totally like awesome. 
with your future and fortune at stake. There's only really one fair I'm way I'm not gonna to lie, she was a bit of a DLC character. I feel like they like they cut her out of a lot in the beginning. They do that yeah. they do that a lot. Like you were you were definitely like one of the primary characters. But I feel bad because like I feel like they just you know, I feel like they just like gave her what is it called? The purple edit or whatever. Where Christine? No, not Steve. No, Christine. They gave her a purple edit. Yeah, where they were like, they didn't really like put her in the first couple episodes. Like, I didn't even know she was there until the fifth episode, I think. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people said that about me, though, with the corny episode, too. They said that about but you. I, I think you were. Oh, yeah. You, you actually, you really actually came in late, too. Yeah, yeah, you came in the cut late, but then you fucking, you, you were, uh, you know, you were all over it afterwards. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's keep, let's keep going. Who you will be working with. Fortune cookies. You'll each randomly take two fortune cookies and whichever name is inside that fortune cookie will be your sous chefs tonight. Please, all three of you, come up and take Two cookies each. That's fine. Courtney, please open one of those cookies and tell us who you have. Oh my Damn. god, I'm cringing so hard. <laughs> Thank you. Leslie. I do this every day. I see myself every day. It's awful. For. You'll get used right. to it. Right. Oh Jesus. No, what do you think about the hair decisions here? Was this good? No, this, no. This let's, good not talk, let's not talk about it. It was a dark time in my life. <laughs> what, what do you mean? You, you hadn't peaked? Or on? Had you peaked? No. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, let's not talk about it. <laughs> that okay. hair was a People decision. here seem to like it. They're saying it was fire. Been, like, Thank you. It was definitely the lighting, though. That's why I look like it looks so orange. The lighting. Okay. It is always in Leslie's hands. Elizabeth, please open up one of those fortune cookies. Oh, that was a scripted line, by the way. Jamie. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? It was scripted? What? That hey, line was like, my fate is always in Leslie's hands. They made me say that. <laughs> Yo, you're pulling the curtain too much. You're you're breaking the immersion. <laughs> Well, my NDA ended after three years, so I can say whatever the fuck I want now. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I didn't even think about that. But but also at the same time, like, um, what do you call it? I just, I don't know. I, I know that a lot of this shit is obviously, you know, producer backed. Like yeah. producers push for certain kinds of like arcs, character arcs or whatever. They try to guide you along the way. But like, I try to act like it's not. I, I like to imagine it as though it's real, if you know what I mean. Is that, I feel like it's kind of a weird thing to say to someone who's on the show, but we yeah. like to act like it was, it was real. It's kind of like wrestling, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's fair. You can ask me whatever, though. I'll be pretty honest with you. Okay, what did you, what did you think about uh, all the three judges then? Who's your favorite judge? Who's your least favorite judge? And why is your least favorite judge Joe Bastianich? Actually, I loved Joe. You did? Yeah, he was really this. nice to me. Uh, he offered to write me a recommendation letter for Cornell because I was a senior in high school. He didn't do it, though, so he's a liar, but... <laughs> he said he was going to write you a recommendation letter and he did it? Yeah, he said it during a challenge. I got really excited and then he never wrote me a letter, so... I didn't get into Cornell, by the way. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> did you want to go to Cornell? Yeah, that was my dream school. Cornell was... Wait, didn't... Where'd you go? Wait, you broke. Uh oh. Mm. Hello? Can you hear me? Are you there? Oh, yeah, it's lagging. I'm here now. Yeah, okay, you're back. In the school you went to better than Cornell? Berkeley? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is it? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Ber I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I think okay. Uh okay, okay. One one question is the the classic one one is is like scripted, right? Do yeah. Ever, yeah, obviously. Do you ever do you ever feel like they would 
force a one one to just be like oh man this is actually fucking delicious but like you know they were just like oh it's not good because this other person's dishes months, let's has to be you know winning this so it's a one one yeah yeah for sure messed up did you ever taste other contestants foods no you're not even allowed to really eat your own food so wait why uh because if it tastes like shit and then for editing purposes they want to say it was good then uh what <laughs> are there moments where they're eating something that tastes like shit but they lie and say it's good <gasps> what Wait, Tyler was on this season. Yeah, he was. Why is he the best character that's ever come out of MasterChef? Oh, he's such a nice guy. He's the nicest. He was. Do you think like, he actually stole it, or do you think it was a brain fart? No, it was totally a like a mishap. That's like, what I thought just, too. Yeah, but there's a lot of anti-white races in my community. They were immediately saying Tyler did it on purpose. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. That's all right. Don't don't spill too much tea. All right, let's get let's continue. Yeah, let's the same. <laughs> Courtney, please open your final fortune cookie. Big Willie. Big Willie. <laughs> wow. I was being sarcastic about the anti-white racism thing. All my dreams come true, <laughs> Christian. <laughs> wow. I know a chef when I see one. How you doing, brother? Elizabeth, you have a toy. Yeah, what's up, yo? Hell yeah. Get over here. What are the odds? Now, we want restaurant quality, elevated entrees, good enough to be eaten by the best chefs in the country. You will have just 90 minutes to conceive, prep, and plate your stunning dishes. You are one step away from the finale. It's all on the line tonight. Your 90 minutes starts now. Christian, let's go down here. There's going to be 50 chefs from all over the country in the dining room critiquing our food. I mean, that's crazy. I'm doing a, a prime filet. I'm going to make an herb gnocchi, lots of butter. If you can just get the fish out, I'll meet you over there. It's a dream come true, but it's also terrifying to cook for that many amazing chefs. We're going to make skin-on, fancier red snapper fillets with cauliflower three ways and a really awesome Mediterranean relish. Daniel, have you seen lemongrass yet? If we think it's hard getting anything past Chef Ramsay, Chef Elliot, Was Daniel Joe, nice? It's going to be so nice. I, I feel like he got a pretty shitty edit. All of these chefs. We're doing ginger soy glazed halibut with a beet dashi broth. Golden you feel like you got a good edit or no? Chili sauce. Yeah, too. Okay. Let's do this. Ah. I think that's it. Let's yes go. and no. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, okay, why yes, why no? Yes, because I feel like some of the confessionals were taken out of context. And then, like, the fight scene with Leslie, that wasn't, like, really how it went down. And I feel like I got a shit edit and I looked like a raging bitch, which isn't wrong. But <laughs> uh, And then, like, there were good edits, too. Like, I think once I messed up a dish and they never showed that, so. Damn. <laughs> That's crazy. So they do, they, it is a little scripted where they just like elevate people where they they know it's good for content. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not a cooking show. It's a reality TV show. So, so you think like it's predetermined whoever's going to win or, or well, like it's, you suspect it, right? Like I'm assuming actually don't tell me if that's the yeah, truth. I, don't tell me. Cause I don't want to know that'll fuck me up. I don't want to. Yeah. Closed. Okay. You can. Yeah. Yeah, don't tell me. Don't you will ruin. It's like it's literally like telling a kid that you know Santa Claus isn't real. Okay, I I want to believe that the food is actually good. When when my food was wins. great, my food was great. I truly believe that. But you don't even know. You, you say you don't even know. You've never tasted it. Um, please ask food. Iran if they ask conditions to wear heels for camera. They were. Yeah, I mean, they ask us what we brought in our wardrobe, and then they 
will ask you to wear certain outfits. Like they made me wear certain outfits that like I would never have worn. And even on the day I, okay, is this going too deep? No, no, Whatever. no, it's fine. Whatever, the day I got eliminated too, they were very fixated on how the back of my shirt looked and they kept making me change, so. Okay. I have a theory they knew I would be eliminated that day because when I walk out of the kitchen, you see the back of my shirt. So that's my theory. Oh, no. Okay, no. Okay, well, I, I don't know. I don't know how to... No shot. No, they probably just, like, were making sure that, you know, the back of your shirt looked all right and that it's not scripted that you just got eliminated. Okay, <laughs> um... <laughs> was the rain? People want me to ask if the rain was scripted, but <laughs> no, it just never no. rains in LA. I've been living here for many, many years, and I've never seen it. I was here when that was being filmed. I was here in Los Angeles, and I don't remember it raining like that hard in 2014 or whenever the fuck yeah, it was filmed. It was pouring so. that day. What? It was a really depressing day. It was pouring. It was so sad. We're, so, what is the what does the living situation look like when you guys are filming? Uh, you live in hotel rooms. And you're all nice? separated. Uh, we stayed like the we stayed in Burbank, like at a Marriott or something. It was just okay. Okay. Yeah. Was the food good? Uh, no. It was like catered, random stuff, like fast food. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you guys get paid? To be on it, like for per episode or whatever. Uh, we get a stipend. Um, so it? yeah, like the further you get in the show, the more your stipend is. Um, and like other people on the show actually like had bills and like financial responsibilities, and I didn't. So I just saved it up and then went on a shopping. You were fucking spree. caked up. Yeah, and then I went on a fucking shopping spree when I got eliminated because I was <laughs> sad. Okay. Yeah. Um, wait, is the stipend good enough for like paying bills and shit? You don't have no, it's not. I mean, like when, like some of them, you know, had to leave their full time jobs and they're not making money. So they had to use it for like to pay rent somehow, I guess. I don't yeah. know. I was only 15 at the time. That was like the least of my concerns. Wait, are you pursuing a career in chefing now? No, I, oh, I work. Damn. In corporate, yeah, sad life. Oh damn. Okay. We get really, we get really hype when you know we do the lores after everybody gets uh, eliminated, and like we read through the lore. Um. Oh. Uh. What? What kind of? There's training outside of the actual cooking, right? There is. Yes, we do get cooking classes. Um. I'm reading your chat too. Some people are like leaving really weird comments wait say that again sorry my brother was uh trying to talk to me what was I, said I'm reading, I said i'm reading your chats oh no don't do that don't do that that's the that'd worst thing you could ever do i promise people. don't do that <laughs> <clears throat> they're freaks okay they're yeah don't <laughs> they probably i haven't even been looking at chat that much and also yeah, we're in emote mode now. Okay, good. All right, let's continue with the show. Oh, no. Four and a half cups of hot water. I need a bigger, a bigger pot. Bigger pot? I'll go get it. You need the Japanese turner so you can start this? Right okay. This is it. What a big night. I mean, it's as much pressure tonight as it is in the final. 50 chefs in your dining room? Come on. Even for a professional chef, it's a big ask. No, not there yet. So Courtney picked halibut with kind of an Asian twist. If there's one thing chefs hate, the best of times is overcooked fish. Right. Yeah, literally, this fish hangs around. I suspect that Courtney was a secret agent or something. I don't know. She was so fucking good at cooking. Like, I, I thought she was fake, but also she is so good at cooking. Uh, it's just, like, very weird. Something doesn't add up. Too it's like powder. Uh, yeah, it gets the mush. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth's dish, she's doing cauliflower two ways, pan-seared red snapper, very seasonal. The dish that caught my attention. Leslie picked the meat. He's going with a filet with gnocchi. I don't know why he's put those two together. What are your herbs for? Herb gnocchi. I think he's looking at the filet as being a star and then trying to come up with a creative side. All right, Chaz, you're done. Thank you. This is just the wrong one. 30 
human is gone, you've now got one hour remaining. Get organized. Is this stuff actually real? The do chef. they like, do they make you cook up until the last second? No, right? That's editing, right? No, no, no. You actually only get the time that they give you. Um, sometimes they'll give you like extra time to like get gro like the ingredients and they won't like time that. Um, but the time that they allocate to the challenge is all you can have for cooking. But you're allowed to get extra ingredients? I feel like in uh, in previous seasons, there's always like drama between like contestants like not getting the right ingredient. They don't let them back into the kitchen. Oh my God, you're ruining the... You're ruining Sorry. the secret. No, I'm kidding. Sorry. You can be honest about that. That's fine. That's like a baby secret. That's not like a... Yeah. That That's not like a huge, you know, it's not crazy. This is a, this is a mini one. That's okay. Let's get all of this. No, this is more than enough. Come on, guys. Speed up, please. The right, I'm taking it off emote mode only. Be nice, chat. Please welcome. Be normal. Tonight's judges, some of the greatest chefs in America. From Mississippi, Kat Cora. Oh, my God. Oh, from Maryland, Michael Voltaggio. From Ohio, Susan Feniger. From Michigan, Duff Goldman. Arizona, Suzanne Tracht. It's like a never-ending parade of famous people that I'm obsessed with. Representing California. Ron, do you think Joe Bastianich knows how to cook? Uh, I think he only really knows how to cook, like... A risotto? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the... The meme in this community, at least, is that he doesn't know how to cook. Once is... he accidentally slammed a like a food processor lid on my finger and it turned purple. No way. He didn't do it on purpose, but it fucking hurt. Maybe that's why he wanted to write you a letter of recommendation to Cornell. <laughs> but yes, Berkeley's a better school than Cornell, for the record. So you, I think you did all right. Thank Jet you. Tila, Illinois, Mary Sue Milliken. Oh my God. From Nevada, Herb Wilson. This is absurd. <laughs> from Missouri, Anthony Caron. John Sedlin from New Mexico. Casey Lane from Texas. Tom Shields from West Virginia. It's kind of weird. This is huge. We're having some of the best chefs in America sitting down, waiting to taste our food. If I don't bring my A game today, man, I'm going to be in trouble. The pressure is on. Did you feel... Did you feel cringe about the Walmart ad? Yeah. Please welcome. Tonight. <laughs> Whenever Graham says, you know, we're for our hero veterans, we're going to be serving them delicious Walmart steak. The worst. The worst. <laughs> anyway, okay. Let's Judges, continue. Some of the greatest chefs in America. It's so incredible. We are serving Fake. 50 chefs from 50 different states. It's like all of the cookbooks I've been studying from came to life. And That's back when Mississippi had the Confederate like flag on its, uh, the still the Confederate flag on its, on its flag chat. Look at that. From came to life and just walked into the kitchen right by me. This is amazing. Seeing my idols walk in. Oh my God. Time to step my game up. It's like these people don't even know I like worship them and I'm about to cook for them. It's amazing. Just took a picture. You take a picture. But they it's worship awesome. these people. Very How exciting. do they even know? These are like rando chefs, no? No, like some of them are really famous. I was oh, actually really? just over 50 yeah. minutes until service begins. Courtney. Yes, yeah, chef. Wake up now, yeah. Describe the dish. I'm doing Asian ginger soy glazed halibut mm -hmm. with a beef dashi vermicelli. Quite modern, very yeah. vibrant. Uh, why halibut? Halibut has a really nice white flaky meat that will complement my sweet sauce. Overcooks easily. I know that. I mean, very unforgiving. Yep. Um, even when I get two chefs in my restaurants, you know, it's a big deal. I've mm -hmm. never had 50 chefs. How are you feeling? Pressure is definitely on, but I'm feeling very confident because I've prepared well, and I know that with good preparation comes good execution. Good luck. Thank you. Sounds so fake. Three, baby. Only three. We don't want to crowd you too much. <laughs> Here, take a no. bite. Whoa, that's awesome. <laughs> so what's the dish, Elizabeth? Tell me. Um, this is a Mediterranean skin on red snapper with a watercress puree, a pistachio puree, and cauliflower three ways. It sounds very contemporary. sounds very restauranty. Is that what you're going for? Absolutely. Out of the three of us, I have the most restauranty, chefy dish, and I think that's the perfect audience for what I'm cooking. But is it really a good exciting. strategy to propose such a chefy dish to 50 chefs? Yeah. Good luck. 
What kind Wesley. of dish? What? Yes, sir. Tell me what the dish is. Do you ever feel it's like eight ounce fillet? You ever feel like on one episode Joe will say some shit, and then on the next episode he says the exact opposite? Like he'll use something as like a positive, and then straight up next episode he'll use that exact same uh, thing as a negative. I feel like sometimes yeah, he's just saying yeah. stuff. Yeah, he kind of intimidated. He was just intimidating, but I think he was trying to just sound like smart. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, uh, Christine from the previous the previous season winner, I think it was like season three winner. Christine said that she streams on Twitch as well. Um, she said that all the ladies love Joe and that you know they actually thought he was cool. Yeah, he's actually really nice, and uh, he has like kids that were around my age at the time, so I think that's why he was nice. <laughs> okay. He just does not come across like that on. I mean, the editors cucked him the most, I think. They make him look, you know, way meaner than he actually is, I guess. I actually think I had a better relationship with Joe than, like, Graham. Oh, really? Well, Graham's a friend of the show, so... Wait, is, is he your least favorite chef, or is it Gordo, your least favorite judge? No, I, Gordon was so nice. Uh, the sweetest man ever. Okay, so, uh, so Graham was your least favorite judge. Oh, no. Not least favorite, but I just didn't feel particularly like bonded to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Joe was your favorite. Gordon was two. Graham was number three. No, Gordon was definitely top one. But I'm saying Joe, Joe is nicer than he appears to be. Okay. That's interesting. I recently found out that Joe Bastianich has a music career as well. Have you ever seen his songs? No, no, I don't. Do I want to see it? No. Okay. Then or maybe. I... We'll see. Okay, let's continue. Uh, summer vegetables, herb gnocchi. It's stunning. With, uh, mushrooms and a demi-glazed red wine sauce. I've never in my life seen filet and gnocchi mixed together, though. Listen, you told me to reach for the stars. I'm reaching for the stars. I'm throwing something down. It's very tasty. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. 25 minutes remaining. Let's go. I'm so excited to have these 50 chefs here. It's amazing. amazing. These chefs will decide who wins this challenge and goes straight to the finale of Master Chef. See you. I hope that these home cooks do us proud. Elizabeth's team is amazing, very harmonious. She's controlling it, she's dictating the terms, and they're listening. Jamie, test that cauliflower for me. It's really kind of impressive to watch. Wow. Turn off the burners. They're definitely cooked. Okay. Daniel, can you get me a fish spatula? Thank you. Courtney's on the hand. Halibut. You don't really start recommending halibut for a large no, contingency, no, no. especially chefs. It's not the fish you'd give them, is it? No, there's no fat in it. It goes dry right away. And then to do it in an Asian style for the first time ever in this competition. One more minute. I think she's playing without a net. Get, get the vegetables squared away. I need the mushrooms cut, too. Leslie is so confident about this dish. They got to be almost stiff. Taste them. Stiff? Yeah. You got it. This is going to be incredible. Taste, taste, taste. You want a nice texture. He's just in the driver's seat right now. They soft enough for me. Way too hard. Way too hard. You're killing Incredible. it. Good Neil, job. Done. What can I do for you? Nope. Set plates up. <laughs> yeah? If I had to hire one of these three home cooks as a chef in my restaurant today, it would be Leslie. Wow. He's on fire. Wow. Right, hey, watch it. Oh, what the fuck? Ah. Careful, careful, careful. Come on, Leslie. Watch out, man. Take your foot off. Take your foot off. Take your foot That's off. Right. Take your foot off. I've got it, Leslie. I've no got problem. it. Damn, damn, damn. Sorry. When it rains, it pours. 15 minutes remaining. Is that scripted? Start clearing down, get organized, lay out the, the fire? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. No. <laughs> no, that was not I don't want to know. I don't know so, why I keep asking you. Oh, damn. The spoon <laughs> so just push. A little spoonful right in the middle. Let what you about Jamie? As it will. She's so sweet. Yeah. Even though she has a tattoo that says New Jersey. On her neck, which is, you know, badass. did you, no, what? No, uh, <laughs> uh, did you keep in touch with any of the contestants? Like, are you still friends with any of them or at all or no? Yeah. I mean, I still talk to them, um, all the time. I like, haven't seen them in a while, but Damn, like, all the time for real. Yeah. Like on social, I'll talk like Leslie and I were texting today. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you're, you're tight with Leslie still. So it was, yeah, we're just it was like, yeah, yeah. He's going to be on my YouTube channel. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. 
Okay. I texted him earlier. I said, I think we're the most Insta famous people from our season. And he said, if not the cutest. <laughs> kind of weird, dude. <laughs> Isn't he like 60 now? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's the Silver Fox. I mean, we put some respect on that name. That That is... We, we love Leslie. We're Leslie enjoyers here. Anyway, let's continue. Because you are serving it to people who look at every dish with the eyes of a chef. Beautiful, Ron. Beautiful. All right, let's whack it. Whack it. A couple more gnocchi on this plate. You got it. Thank you. Leslie's plating, Elizabeth's plating. Sauce at the end here, and I got the sauce. Courtney's got nothing on the plate bar her name. Still the same game plan with the plating. Daniel. Yes, chef. Uh, is anyone going to start plating? Getting direction. Yes, sir. Getting direction. Is anybody going to start plating? Noodles are ready. You want him to start going? Courtney. Yes, chef. Is anybody going to start plating? I'm telling him to start plating right now. We need to step up a gear, guys. We're going right now. Guys, don't forget, in the restaurant, we have a chef from every state in America. Let's go, guys. Come on. All of you, speed up. Courtney's got no plates, Trish. We've got 12 minutes to go. All I need to hear is what goes in the vermicelli. I keep telling you, it's all of the noodles and this sauce. Here, you do it yourself. Willie and Daniel, do you have any idea what's going on? That's what I'm trying to get details on, Chef. I've said it more Say than it enough again. times. So let's do that right now. Oh, my God. So Daniel has no, like, reason to fucking help out. And neither do you, to be honest. Like, what if you fucking tanked his shot? Like, I mean, you didn't. But what? You could have just, like, easily sabotaged, right? That's true. That's true. I thought when they asked me to come back that it would be to like re enter the battle. Oh, then... you thought it was like one of those because they did that in the other season. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was so excited. And then they were like, you're just going to be a sous chef. I was like, okay. damn. Yeah. They were like, nope, get fucked. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a this is a shorter season, too. The other season had like 25 episodes, I think. And then this one's like yeah. 19. Yeah. <sighs> Anyway, all right, let's continue. Happen, I did happen. what you told me to do. Okay. Eight minutes to go. You don't do want to. You feel like your dreams got crushed and that's why you no longer want to be a chef and instead you're doing whatever you're doing now in a corporate job? No, no, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my life, but I think going on the show made me realize how tough it would be to work in a commercial kitchen. Um, and then I realized I didn't want to go to culinary school because I didn't see myself like working in a restaurant, so. But you have a YouTube channel, right? You, you still cook yeah. on there? Yeah, just like as a like a hobby um, on the side. Okay. So, What's yeah. your favorite food? To cook I'm or in general? At, I'm looking at your YouTube channel right now. Wait, can you see or does it still show MasterChef on your end on my screen share? No, I, I see it. You can see what yeah. I'm looking at? Yeah. Are you going to subscribe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. All right, you better fucking put out some... You better put out some fire content, dude. Yeah. I'll put out some fire content. Okay. I mean, after today, you're probably going to have like 10K subscribers. So. Okay, Fizz. Simping it a little too hard there, buddy. Jesus. One of my mods is blasting your, your subscription link. Put some vegan content? Yeah, no. Don't listen to that. 4% of my audience are vegans, but they make up 90% of the dissenters in my chat. <laughs> Okay, all I do is cook and eat milk, bread. You edit these yourself? Yeah. Pretty good. Thank you. Oh, what the fuck is that thing on the left side? What? The Biscoff cake? Is that what that is? Biscoff cheesecake. Is it cheesecake, but with a with a biscuit on it? Biscuit. <laughs> yeah, with a Biscoff cookie on it. With a Biscoff cookie? That looks kind of fire. Yeah. Yeah, you already see you 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 already went from three thousand subscribers to six thousand subscribers. Wait, are you are you kidding? No. There's Damn, you know, let's keep I don't know going, if you know but... this. I don't know if you know this, but there's currently fifty two thousand people live watching this conversation. Nice. So anyway, all right, cooking log, Korean sweet potato pizza. Okay. Uh all right, let's get back to it. Let's get back to not this. this. That's Cutter, who looks like Dan Crenshaw. You know who Dan Crenshaw is? No. 
Damn, you are you're just not even remotely aware of politics. You're like, nah. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. He's brain he's, like Berkeley. What? Brain like Berkeley. I don't know what that means. Is there a lyric, <laughs> right? I don't listen to any music. I don't care to myself. Let's just keep going. I don't I don't is that music? Is that a lyric? I don't listen to music. No, no. Oh, it's Frank Ocean. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I don't listen to Frank Ocean. He's dead to me. You don't want to toss it in the box? Get going. No, just get going. Put the noodles down. We got to get it on the plate, okay? We we got to get it on the plate. Okay, keep it cool. This is my worst nightmare coming to life. Finish all of them. Oh, my goodness me. This is insane. (sighs) Sorry, Frank Ocean unfollowed me on Instagram and I still carry the grudge. Eight minutes to go. With time That's running so out in tonight's semi-final challenge, up. the final three home cooks Fuck must conceive up. and cook a restaurant-quality dish for 50 of the biggest culinary names in the country. We're looking for flavor. We're looking for a presentation. This is Master Chef, and although they're home cooks, I'm looking for raw talent. I'm expecting culinary magic, and I came here hungry. Last two minutes. <laughs> Make it happen. Make I it did happen. what you told me to do. Okay. This is insane. You don't do want to toss it in the get box? Get going. No, just get going. Put the noodles oh, down. Don't start yelling now. Don't start yelling now. Okay, we, we now. Gotta get it on okay the plate. keep it cool. My name is on the plate. A little bit more noodles. It doesn't say Daniel or Big Willie. It says Courtney. Sauce. There's no sauce on that one. We got to do sauce. Where's the Willie, sauce Willie, get the, the red sauce. is right in front fake. of you. Turn around. Being kind of fake. Especially there's to Willie. Chill. You know? fish on this one. Being kind of mean. Okay yeah. with how they look. This oh. looks like crap. 45 seconds to go. All right, let's push it out. Looking good, y'all. Let's go, guys. Come on. Whoa, watch out. Watch out. Ten, You're almost nine, ready to be a 10K sub on YouTube. Seven, six, five, Come on, you guys. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Hands in the air. Here come the servers. Really careful, guys, because they're stacked pretty tall. Gentle, like a lover. Uh-huh. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. The filet came out beautifully. The gnocchi looks great. Everything looks perfect. Courtney, Leslie. Okay, can we be honest about something? The Master logo is so bad. Is it? I feel like I've gotten used to seeing it over and over again over the past five seasons that we watched, but like, I just don't think it's a good logo. Anyway, sorry. What do you think would be better? I don't, I don't know. It's not that. It just, it just doesn't look great. And Elizabeth, please say goodbye and thank you to your sous chefs. Bye, Buddy. guys. I'm so sorry. For it. It's okay, honey. Bye. It's so Bye. Love you. Look at Willie. He's still apologizing Having to Courtney. Having my dream team by my side was amazing. But at the end of the day, this is my plate. I own it. I'm proud of it. And I'm hyper confident. Okay, Elizabeth. Leslie and Courtney like all three of you to come with us into the Mouth Chef restaurant and explain to our 50 chefs from 50 states what you've cooked for them tonight. Let's go. As an aerial dancer, I've been on a stage in front of huge audiences for most of my life and I'm starting to feel What is an aerial dancer? What is it? Some people are saying that she's a stripper but like then they like made it family friendly or something. Is that is that right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, by the way, this is we're very sex work, uh, pro sex work here. I don't, I don't know if you know anything about my politics at all, but so it's not like weird at all. But I think she did say stripper, right? Okay, so aerial dancer is like when you do it, when you when you, I don't know, like the Soleil shit burlesque show. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's what it is. Okay. All scared right now. Ladies and gents, uh, chefs, first of all, what a great honor it is to have you all here. First ever in the history of this competition that we can get such an elaborate array of talent in one room. Courtney, describe your dish, please. Tonight I have prepared for you a pan seared halibut that I've glazed with ginger and soy. Beneath that is a beet dashi vermicelli. And surrounding the plate is a guayiro chili sauce. That's good. Thank you. Leslie, please. My plate tonight is an eight ounce filet that was pan roasted with a herb gnocchi 
and some summer vegetables and uh, wine reduction. Uh, Elizabeth, please. I've made for you a pan-seared skin-on red snapper with cauliflower three ways, harissa roasted, white cauliflower puree, and a purple cauliflower couscous, and a little pistachio puree. Great. Courtney, Leslie, Elizabeth, please head back in to MasterChef Kitchen while these amazing chefs taste your dishes. Uh, please, look at the dishes, uh, break it down, reward creativity, flair, imagination, and of course, obviously, it's about the taste. Enjoy, and a big thank you again for making the effort to be here. I can't believe Cutter's not in this. Oh my God, I wanna know what they're saying in there. He was clearly the greatest talent. They're probably loving the idea of your Is cauliflower couscous. Do you feel like they uh, elevate some, like, worse chefs overall to keep the drama going? Yeah, of course. Okay, good. So that's okay. That is that definitely what I was suspecting. Like, where I feel like being good content in that situation is like improves your chances of staying in the game. Yeah. Like yeah. when Cutter, were you there when were you still in the season where Cutter made an artisanal pizza? Yeah. So that, yeah. that was a lunchable. Like he he just like he didn't get eliminated for making a lunchable pizza. That was pretty tragic. <laughs> I mean, what does that even? Artisanal pizza? I don't even know what that means. He doesn't know what that means either. <laughs> okay, who do you think is uh, most likely to have stormed the Capitol on January 6th, and why is it Cutter? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's just say without... <laughs> let's just say <laughs> without getting too deep into it, I had to unfriend him on Facebook. <laughs> You have Facebook still? Yeah, that's, I mean, <laughs> that's your first mistake, but yes. Oh, um, yeah, no, we, we already, we, I didn't even need to see his Facebook to know that he's anti-vax. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not a true patriot. That's, that's what I like politically. Since you didn't, since you didn't do your due diligence, like Cutter's a patriot. We're actually big fans of his here. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't want you to. Okay. I don't know. Let's continue. <laughs> Seafood chef. My first and foremost is going to be the fish, but she's also she's taking that nice. same attention to All the right. vegetables. Sorry, I got a vaccine injury. That's why. She really did do cauliflower three ways. She's got three different textures, three different preparations, three different colors, three different flavors. Every single component works separately, and it works together. Could use a little bit of seasoning, but... You can taste the cauliflower. So you kind of went like an Asian flavor profile. That's interesting. Yeah, they judges kept saying to me, what have you show us? So I was like, I'll show you Asian. Courtney did a good job cooking the fish. The halibut's cooked nice. Mm -hmm. I do like the flavor of the broth on the noodles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very sophisticated. You could have this in an upscale restaurant. She knocked it out of the park with that dish. It could use more sauce. Yeah, when I heard you were doing gnocchi for that many people, I was like, this man has gone insane. Oh, mine seemed fine. Everything the gnocchi held up, it was tough, though. Although steak is safe, gnocchi is not safe. It's a gamble to try to cook a gnocchi for, for not just chefs, but for anybody. Flavor-wise, it's, it's delicious, it's seasoned, the meat is cooked perfectly. This would be a dish out of order in a restaurant, like beef and mushrooms and red wine, classic combination. They're like good elements, but it's kind of, it's a little disjointed. I have to say, this is my choice right here. Uh, I would agree. I, I definitely think Elizabeth stole the show, yeah. I'd sell this dish in my restaurant. Yeah. You just hit uh, 10K oh, subs you know, on YouTube. Hey. Things are cliches. Let's go 20. Is it culinary genius? Maybe not. I loved it. Courtney, look how beautiful this is. Look at that. I will never understand. We've seen fucking four seasons now. I skipped season one. And I still do not understand how these like challenges actually end up working. Like, does everybody taste all the food? Like, they never really make that clear. On some of the episodes, like, they get, like, Monopoly dollars or whatever, like the diner one. But ultimately, I, I do not understand how they are making the decisions that they're making. Like, is it Wade? Uh, is, is Gordo's decision more important than, like, I don't know, the random chefs? Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. Do you have any clarity for that, or do you, you not know? Are you asking with, do you want me to answer this, or no? I kind of want you to answer it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just predetermined by the judges. Like, I don't think the guests' input really have 
any impact on the outcome. Yeah, that didn't that didn't break the magic for me at all. That's what well, that's what I suspected as well because I always feel like I always felt like it was just so random. Like they'll go up to a guy and he'll be like, "Oh, I love the red team's play," and then it's like, "Okay, but did you not try the blue team's play?" So what the fuck does that do if you've only had the red team's play? So I feel like they only they only serve people uh one team's plate sometimes right yeah yeah that's true like so in the military, they can't... you went to you went to the military challenge right i think that was the season yeah and yeah yeah like they did you serve uh them both of the plates like did they try both plates uh i don't know they only tried one plate okay i think yeah that's all i remember all right please ask her about the two fish tyler ate is that real or was that drama just made up to make Tyler look bad? Did he actually eat like too much of the food while they were cooking it? And then you guys ran out of, or once he ran out of food? I mean, yeah, maybe he was hungry, but I do think he ate it and he got caught, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> He's such a nice guy, though. I don't want to say anything bad, but I think he did eat it maybe on accident. Whoa. You good? There's crazy background noise. Yeah, yeah. You wanna, uh, what do you call it? You wanna mute it for oh. if it keeps going. You could just like mute it, and then unmute. Do you know how I to mute and unmute? No. Oh, it's gone now. It's fine. All right, let's continue. <laughs> no, it, 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 we don't hear it anymore. walk in and i see the chorus line of amazing chefs they are going to send i could just meet you right as well the, the home cook that we'd like to invite down here my dish should be leslie and elizabeth's because it's original it's showing chef-like qualities the individual with the dish of the night I need to win. I need to get up on that balcony and be number one. Or otherwise, I don't know. Another pressure test, number seven. I mean, come on, really? Congratulations goes to... Wow. Stunning. <laughs> the individual with the dish of the night. Congratulations goes to... Elizabeth. Amazing. Did you like Elizabeth? So I get to walk through yeah, the yeah. of chefs. Super cool. I'm in the a bit of a queen. And I am thrilled beyond <laughs> Love it. words. Love it. Yeah. Well done. Please head up to the balcony. There's a very Bad cool ass. glass of champagne waiting for you. Great job. I mean, Cutter was robbed, but it's fine. Leslie and Courtney, please make your way down. On behalf of everybody here at MasterChef, I'd like to say a big special thank you to our talented chefs standing behind you. Much appreciated. Hope to see you again. Thank you. So now it's between me and Courtney. I am psyched about this. I'm not going to let anything get in my way, and I'm going to get this thing done. Uh, Courtney and Leslie, well done. Um, tough challenge tonight. Unfortunately, not in the same league as Elizabeth. Now, both of you will face perhaps the most grueling and the most important pressure test you've ever done in this competition where only one of you will join Elizabeth in the grand final of MasterChef. <laughs> Next time we see you, it's going to be intense. He's got some let's go Brandon pose. Oh, before I forget, uh, well, this is unrelated to you, Aron. I got to run an ad real quick at the top of the hour. Uh, there's a 60 second ad break chat. You sounds already good. know. What? Yeah, sounds good. Hold on one second. Top of the hour, boys. There's a 60 second ad break. You already know what it is. I just Someone muted my. Someone said, screen. wow, Aron is really boring. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Chat! Shut the fuck up, chat! Sorry, I was I was yelling at chat. Don't listen. Do, do not do not fucking pay attention to the chat at all. I promise it is not good. Okay. 
They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. You're great. You're very entertaining. Yeah. I try. Look, listen, the thing is, um, Twitch is very have you ever been on Twitch? Like, have you ever watched Twitch? Uh, I watched it here and there, but I've never like been Who have you watched on Twitch? Uh like my friends that stream sometimes. Oh, your friends oh. that stream? Yeah. What do they stream? Cooking? One of them streams like Pokemon cards. Oh, okay. Well, in Twitch chat is like insane. Like there, obviously there's a. No, it's pretty funny. Yeah, no, it, it can be. And then sometimes it's, you know, kind of annoying. So don't take it seriously. You know, it's a hive mind. You're doing great. And All also good. my brain is completely broken from staring at it for <laughs> three years now. So I, that's the reason why it's like hard for me to, to make jokes and memes that are normie adjacent for someone who's like you know struggling to turn on discord for example not that it's a bad thing it's just like you're normal you're a normal person i am the yeah. abnormal one like it's not i am not in a good situation i'm in the bad you're good all right let's continue there have been seven other people who have tried to send leslie home in the pressure test and they've failed this is my chance to send him back to Malibu. Today I'm going into the biggest battle of my life. I can do this, I can make this happen. I will be in the finale. Welcome, good to see you both. Come on down, please. Elizabeth is the first person to be catapulted into the Master Chef finale. The task now is to find out which one of you two will be facing Elizabeth. In the previous challenge, we had you make an incredibly complex composed entree. Now it's time for dessert. But not just any dessert, three desserts that celebrate the greatness of America, the United Cakes of America. <laughs> First up, you have something that I am very familiar with, a proud staple of my not hometown. making it eating it because he can't cook new york cheesecake tangy rich cream cheese filling nestled in a crisp graham cracker crust topped with a beautiful strawberry coulis Ooh, i have a question for you did your friends think it was cool that you were on tv or did they bully you i say you got owned by an old man by the name no, of no, they thought it was cool they were very supportive um, oh that's nice yeah, but I was like missing for like three months because I was filming the show during high school. So it's a lot of chatter about where I was. <laughs> oh, they didn't know you were there? Yeah, because cause, cause we weren't supposed to say like where we were. And um, yeah, but like there were rumors that I was like in North Korea or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was very odd. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, oh, because you're Korean and they were yeah. being racist. Okay. All right, got it. Wait, uh, is the audition process like? Does Graham come in a uh, you know, in a food truck to your hometown and go? No. Oh my God, yummy, delicious treats! Please cook for me. And then like they choose or. So if you don't meet the judges until like you actually start filming. I I assumed, they just yeah. make it seem like Graham drives around the entire country in his food truck. Yeah, yeah. Messed up, messed up. How they lie to you like that? You know. It's very messed up. Anyway, all right, we're going to continue. Next up. From the great state of Florida, we have key lime pie. Tangy, smooth, bursting with fresh flavor. And it's all about balance. Sweet versus tart. Next up, you have another great American regional dessert. From the great state of Massachusetts, you have a delicious Boston cream pie. Oh. Two gorgeous layers of sponge with a phenomenal cream filling between I them. thought that was just a and donut. I, I didn't know that they, that came in pie form. It's covered in a <laughs> stunning chocolate ganache. This is a total- I don't think I've ever had that before, so I wouldn't have known how to make someone it. someone who doesn't bake, this is a nightmare. Courtney, Leslie, um, any last oh, words yeah, for each other? Good thing you got eliminated then. Fair and square. I'm just fine with me. <laughs> don't they I'm teach you what it sleep. is before you, uh, the day? Like you're not, yeah. you're not yeah. like learning the day of and trying to yeah, fucking yeah. make it, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, 
Chat, calm down. I'm joking. Okay, Jesus. Everyone is very mad at me. They are simping super hard for you, so don't worry. <laughs> like they will they will turn on me. They will they will cancel me now. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm good. Keeping that's for damn sure. Now, it's time to head to your stations. You have two hours to make us all three incredibly challenging desserts from different parts of this great country. You all have everything that you need to make these three difficult desserts. Bake better than you've ever baked before, because if you don't, it'll be the last time you'll be making anything here in the MasterChef kitchen. Your time starts. You know what simping means, right? Now. Yes. yes. Okay. Guys, she's not 80. She's she's just you know she's a Norman, yeah. but 26. So she's 26 years old. Pressure test tonight. Wouldn't that freak you Did out? You say I'm not. I'm Norman. Norman? No, I said Norman, like oh. a Normie. Okay. Maybe it's just me, but I love Cutter. When he plates the dish, he on it. Oh my God! You guys caught? Did the copy pasta on his fucking Instagram? God damn it, dude. Okay, this is a this is someone in my community wrote this about Cutter. Maybe it's just me, but I love Cutter. When he plates a dish, he honestly believes it's the best dish in the competition. Hell, Cutter would eat it. He's a shot. He's shining a light on a truth that Master Chef too often obfuscates. Cuisine is subjective. Who's anyone to say that Cutter's opinion isn't valid? What Cutter is doing is reminding us of a dream we forgot that in this world, anyone can be anything. Cutter is the goddamn American dream. I'm <laughs> fucking <laughs> Yeah, no, that that was yeah, yeah. He made. I don't know if you saw this, but he he invented rib corn last episode before he got eliminated. It was pretty awesome. Oh my god. Anyway, and he, he loved it. He said, "Thank yeah. you for the con words. Everything you said is fact." <laughs> you just do a stream where you talk like that. Uh, I do all the time. Oh, oh sure, okay. Yeah, this is not my yeah. Oh, I. <laughs> Like most of my stream is how I talk like that. Most most of the stream I'm doing that that voice. Got the luck of the draw on this challenge. Yeah, but sure. I mean Leslie's excelled too, so it's not like one sided. Like she was given an advantage with this. No, but sometimes it's all about nerves of steel. But one mistake and then you have to cook with composure. I'm freaking losing time right now. I'm not Who's banned off I'm Facebook? Done what I to get done. <laughs> I'm gonna beat Leslie because I've been baking cakes for. Ever. I love baking cakes. This is one of my favorite things to do. I can see myself in the finale already. Months ago, it would take them two hours to do one cake. Right. Tonight, we're asking to do all three in two hours. What cake has to go first? Get that cheesecake in the oven immediately because you haven't got time. It's the longest cook time. It's an hour to cook. An hour. An hour to cook and then cool. <sighs> I gotta get moving, man. After that, start tackling the Boston cream pie because that sponge. You gotta bake the sponge. Oh man, that is a difficult one. Then from there, start on the easiest one, I think, which is the key lamb pie. Right. You have to have that lime zest and you want that acidity to come through. But the cheesecake is the big one that needs to go in the oven within the first 20 minutes. Ooh, sorry. Chad, don't do not go into Cutter's fucking Instagram and like write random dumb shit. If you do that, I will ban all of you, okay? Do not do that. Sorry. Do not. Be fucking normal, please, okay? What do I... Positive interactions only, okay? Positive interactions only. If you go and do this shit, then, you know, you're, you guys are gonna... You know, you're gonna get this whole thing uh, canceled, okay? Sorry, I just, I have to... You're psycho sometimes. 25 minutes gone. 95 minutes to go. Let's keep this going, Courtney. Keep it going. Right, Courtney, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling incredible. Cheesecake's in? Cheesecake is in, chef. Now you look composed. You look together. Can you do this? Absolutely. I can totally do this. This is what I love to do. I've never seen anyone so happy in a pressure test. I know. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. I'm not just a girl wearing high heels. I'm a girl that can cook. Good luck. Thank you. How am I going to find oh, out? Oh, I'm just going to oh, ban you. Gorgeous. Like. Let's keep this going. Uh, I'll ban for less, bitch. Courtney what do you mean? Herself through the challenge. You gotta fold it gently. Yes. She's like, it looks beautiful. Now I just have to put the cream of tartar in. Beautiful. Yes. 
Yes, it looks beautiful. Yeah. Leslie talks to himself too, but he's like, hey, hey, hey what do I gotta put the, yeah, I got like a crumatata and I got the, the gotta whip the lemon away. I love the <laughs> It's like you feel like seven separate. She thinks Courtney's fake too. I can just sense it. Yeah. Well, no shit. <laughs> Damn! Yo, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Voices talking to him in his own head. <laughs> Leslie. She's an empath. Doing so good, man. Not doing so good. What's wrong? Doing so good, man. This is not my strength, man. Well, you just gotta slow down, take a breath. Which cake is that? This is the cheesecake. Courtney's cheesecake is cooked already. Yeah, because she's she's a baker. No, the you know, she's done. Uh, it's cooked. Yes, I understand. You want to know what? Why are I you understand. so far behind? You, I, mean, I don't do this. This is not my forte. The timing of the cheesecake leaves you no net. No, no net whatsoever. It might not even cool down in time. I am so frazzled. I got too many things going through my head. Gotta oh no, he's clapped. Otherwise, I'm gonna be screwed. Unless there's a miracle, this America's Dilv is, is out. Cook. I think Party after this. Over. Which cake is that? This is the cheesecake. This is not my forte. This is not my one of my strengths. It does set you behind a little bit. Yes, it does. It do you have any? Do you have any progress on the other cakes, or you just been? Yes, doing I do. This? No, I just gotta get. I gotta get it. Slow I down. Gotta... Slow down. Slow down. I gotta relax a little bit. No, I can't. You know, I'm always on the verge of a nervous breakdown, but I'm not going there. Oh, baby, who's your daddy? Leslie is a bit all over the place. He just put the cheesecake in. We're not even sure if he has enough time to cool it down. Leslie has fallen behind on the cheesecake. Maybe it's going to make up for the other two. So key lime pie is the simplest, but also really there's a balancing act between sweet and sour. How do you manage that? If it's too acidic, then you add more sugar. If it's too sweet, then you need to add a little bit more citrus. So you got to find that balance. Boston cream pie is the difficult one. The secret in the sponge is the aeration, incorporating those eggs and the butter and the sugar. What's a perfect Boston cream? That is the base of a, a great pastry cream. Mm -hmm. But again, too heavy in that, they can split the sponge. Leslie's pulling his cheesecake out. But the big question tonight is, is Leslie's New York cheesecake cooked? Right. 13 minutes remaining. Let's go. OK, I can get my cheesecake, and I can finish the cheesecake, and everything will all be good in the world. Time's a ticking. I'm That's taking fake. a licking, but That's guess for the what? Camera. These are done, so I'm happy about that. She has, like, a baby voice. Oh, my cheesecake. She does. Yeah. Gorgeous. I don't know. She just okay. gives me, like, pageant queen vibes. Courtney, how are we doing? I actually so saw good. her How does it feel to be like in here now? a couple of years ago this is another filming. Uh -huh. And like, I thought she would absolutely hate me for like saying all that shit on TV. But we, we kind of just like, we're like on good terms, I guess. Like no animosity there, but maybe I shouldn't be talking shit about her on this stream. <laughs> I mean... She's she is undeniably uh, one of the best chefs. Like, she literally popped off the entire fucking time to a degree that it was like. I mean, I don't know if it tastes good or not, obviously, but it looked good. Yeah. To a degree where it's like annoying. Was... Yeah. Like where. She always executed. What? She always executed everything well. Yeah. Um, but it just. Except for the salty donuts, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy that she, like... They, I do think judges have favorites, and they, like, let shit slide, for sure. And they do also have, like, producer favorites, where they, yeah. you know, like, Cutter. <laughs> yeah, they love I mean, Cutter. To be fair, Cutter was America's favorite. Yeah, of course they love Cutter. He's, like... I mean, because this is, like, a... They're, they're tailoring this to... America, right? And like, there's a lot of people like Cutter all around the country that watch TV. <laughs> so, you know, that's fair. They yeah. need, there needs to be someone that, like, you know, reminds them of themselves on there on the TV screen. So, I think that's part of the reason why people people want to stay there. And I also suspect that they want to they want to keep someone that's like not that good in there on purpose. Because that keeps people coming back and they're like, what the fuck? How is he still here? <laughs> like they want, they want someone to root against as well. That's exactly how it works. Yeah. I've watched way too much MasterChef. 
Sorry. All right, let's continue. Enter the finale. This is just me versus Leslie. You have 11,000 subs now. I want to win it. Awesome. Nice. Thank you, Chef Elliot. Look at Leslie go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That looks good. Oh, drop it if he's not careful. Palette knife. Palette knife, Leslie. It'll fall off. It'll slide off. Yeah. <laughs> so tarts are both done. Cheesecakes are both done. Now it comes down to the Boston cream pie. Cool is just taking her sponge out. But you can see Leslie right now. You have these nice, beautiful ones. It's not going to be from a lack of trying. That's for freaking days. You can start to see the stress on Courtney's face. Yeah. It's really low right there. Winning this pressure test is your ticket right to the finale. And Leslie probably has the upper hand just by virtue of the fact that he's been through so many pressure tests. I mean, it's like his second job at this point, And he seems to be coming back. Gentle, baby, gentle, 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 gentle. Less than 15 minutes to go. Now it's going to be the most exciting because that's when they have to start assembling them. Right. And you'll just visually you'll know whether you're going home or going to join Fred Elizabeth in the finale. So who's your Fred's favorite? Start filling his Boston cream pie. Who's my favorite contestant? Willie. Oh, okay. I was very bummed when he got eliminated. I felt bad. I mean, look, we, you were 18 back then. So obviously a lot of my chat was also very young. We're rooting for you. Um, but. But your favorite is not me. It's Willie. Probably. Yeah. No, my, you're, you were my favorite Aron. you, you were, I was, I was lying. I just wanted to be cool. All right. <laughs> yeah. What about least favorite? What? What about your least favorite? <laughs> okay. I don't, there's many. I mean, least favorite? I don't know. Um, <laughs> probably Cutter. <laughs> I just, I get very annoyed when, like, people who are... I get very annoyed when people, like, keep failing upwards. You know what I mean? Oh, it, like, yeah. It frustrates me, but that's the content, obviously. So it's whatever. Um, Your least favorite was Corny, I suspect. Yeah, I guess we had some beef off the camera, too. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, like she, was kind of, she was kind of mean to me um, when we were, like, filming and, like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe she just didn't like me. I don't know if she liked anyone, though. No. Yeah. Good, wow. Yeah, pastry cream looks nice. It's spicy. It's oh, good drama. Oh, my gosh, she's putting it in oh. directly. You just gotta do it like this. Courtney's cakes look a little uneven, like her pastry cream is oozing out from the middle. Right now, Courtney is completely falling apart. Last five minutes. <gasps> Son of a bitch. He's a madman. Last minute, guys. Finishing touches, please. Come on, place in the final for one of you. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Hands in the air. Good job. Courtney's cheesecake looks like you Googled the perfect cheesecake. It is completely flawless. It's, it's too good. So it's the knife like, is going yeah, very it's nice. Chill. It's nice and smooth. Too good. <laughs> okay, here we go. How does that look? Hey, it looks delicious. The crust is. Let's be real. It's going to be a 1 1 anyway. It's going to be a classic 1 1. Airy, rich, smooth. Very good. Thank you. Okay, Leslie. Yes. Less aesthetically appealing, but as we say, it's all about the taste. Dude, this is like, you guys are fucking deranged, dude. Like, actually deranged. <laughs> like, you're actually fucking deranged, dude. Like, I hope you get well, okay? I hope you get well.
Oh my god. The person who does this is like, I, I have a lot of fucking psychotic people in here that also obviously fucking hate me. It's like, Jesus Christ. I hope you get banned. I hope your fucking streamer uh, that that whose community you're a part of also gets in trouble for this. You're such fucking weirdos, man. Anyway, let's continue. Sorry. Ooh. Yeah, see, it looks a little... You see, that looks super creamy, super, like... Yes, right there. Raw. Let's taste it, though. <sighs> the graham cracker crust is a little... It's burnt. Yeah. It tastes like burnt chocolate chip cookies. You know that flavor? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Given the circumstances, I would say you both did a pretty good job with those cheesecakes. One looked much more like the cake we were asking for and tasted closer to what we were expecting. The best cheesecake tonight belongs to Courtney. Congratulations. Thank you. Go report that account, Chatter. Chatters, go report that uh, account, the piece of shit that's saying that. Thank you. <sighs> Courtney, what do you think? I was a little over excited with the blowtorch. Yeah, it looks like key lime s'mores. It's very sweet. Okay. You know, with key lime pie, I'd on Instagram. that sharp tartness. acidic tang coming through. And this is, uh, it's almost obliterated. The only lime I'm really getting is from the zest over the top. Okay. All right. So, Leslie, anything I should know about this? Oh, um, no, this one, I kind of uh, hit it on the mark. The flavor's awesome. Got that zing to it, the curd baked perfectly. Great texture. Nailed it. Great job. Well, thank you, Chef. Key lime pie. With everything, it comes down to the details. The winning key lime pie belongs to Leslie. Great job on that key lime pie. Thank you, Chef. I definitely won the key lime. Now we gotta go to the Boston Cream. Whoever wins this is going into the finale. I'm watching this pastry cream ooze out the sides, and I'm just seeing myself walking out of the Master Chef doors. So it comes down to the Boston Cream Pie. Courtney. Courtney, Courtney, Courtney. I know. Now just have a little look at that. Mine's quite even on the top, at least. Um, I'm not talking about the unevenness. Um, I'm talking about the slurry and the sludge that's oozing out of yours. That should be stuck together. Uh, Leslie. Yes, chef. Lovely ratio. Gotta be a sponge slightly too thick, but nice density of paste cream inside. I feel like at this stage, they don't even fuck up anymore. Like in the last three, there's like no fuck ups. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Please, Courtney, Leslie. Come round to the front. Thank you. We now have to work out which one of you moves on to the MasterChef grand finale. Please um, give us a minute. Thank you. Courtney, this is a mess. Yeah. There's no cream in there, is there? Awesome cream pie is about the cream. Yeah, it's like a liquid center. Kate, Leslie's had a great pastry cream. There's something really weird tasting at the bottom. It's like a weird bread. You need a little more sugar or something. Yeah, I think it's kind of obvious what's wrong with it. Something major. It all comes down to the Boston cream pie, and it seems like Leslie's has the edge. Hi, uh, Courtney. You had highs and lows, insufficient pastry cream, pastry cream slightly liquid, top heavy in terms of good ganache, lovely sponge. Leslie, 
visually incredible. Great pastry cream, ganache, delicious. But something very odd came to mind whilst tasting the sponge. Uh oh. Will you just have a taste of that, please? You know what's wrong with that sponge. You put the salt in place of the sugar. I may have, yes. The home cook who made the best. Are you serious? Boston cream. Oh my God. The fucking salty donut saved her. But then now at this stage, the salty fucking pie ends up clapping Leslie. It pie. sucks. And the person who will now move in to the MasterChef finale and face off against Elizabeth, that person is... Rig. Courtney. Okay, this is scripted. Now I believe it's scripted. Ardil. Congratulations. Okay, <laughs> made a simple mistake. Not a problem. Thank God. I was certain that I was going home. Wow. I feel bad for Leslie. It was such an honest mistake. <sighs> Seven pressure tests. <laughs> Finally, one got you. Leslie said he didn't put salt on it in Quinn's stream. Oh, he disputes it. He disputes that he actually put salt in it. Yeah, you know what? I figured my luck kind of ran out after. I don't six, doubt that. I feel like if it was salty, he would have spit it out right <laughs> away. Everyone in America who's ever baked more than one cake, including myself, has made the same exact mistake that you made tonight. Leslie, you have been phenomenal. And for anybody out there that ever tells me again that cooking is a young man's game, you've turned that around on its head. <laughs> Who says that? Can Who says cooking is a young man's game? Nobody they hate that. young contestants normally. They literally fucking they chew the young contestants out. Also, Joe's never baked, so I don't know why he's like, oh, I've made this mistake too. Let's be real, he's never baked. It was a pleasure meeting you guys. You guys are my idol. Right, uh, two talented individuals. Who is your money on? I'm sorry. Courtney, but I would definitely put my money on Elizabeth. And then, Thank yes. You, Leslie. Is Quinn still banned? Thank I don't want to watch this. All right. All right, what's the lore? What's the lore? Chat. All right, lore masters. Give me the lore for, for Leslie. Leslie lore. After getting tripped up on a baking challenge, Leslie Gilliams went on to get arrested following a misunderstanding in a bar where his sister fell ill, but he was not charged. He started a food blog, but was no longer updated. In 2018, he opened Silver Fox Oysters, which seemingly closed after 2019. Also, rarest Joe lore. He went on to be a cringe folk guitarist after MasterChef. Wait, what? No, that's Joe, dude. That's that's Joe Bastianich. We're not going to look at that right now. Okay. All right. Yeah, kind of sad that... Uh, kind of sad that we see Leslie go uh, on this... I'm the stay-at-home dad that came here to win, and I was doing a pretty damn good job up until the salt part. This is a great-looking pie. You really nailed it. Awesome dish. You're up at the top right now. All of you, right now, get your ass down here, quickly. That's what I call a box of donuts. Wow. His donuts popped off. I learned a lot. I mean, I didn't expect to make it this far. I met interesting people. Some liked me, some didn't like me. I can so, hear you. No. I don't need to look at you. I need you to. Yeah, this, this, there was some, they were not.